Okay, telescopes are the uh, primary tools of the astronomer in order to uh, study stars and other objects that are in the uh, night sky. Telescopes can look very different from each other, but basically they all have the same function, which is to gather as much light as possible, uh, focus that light into an image, and then uh, use some kind of recording device to uh, record the image or record the uh, data uh, or information coming from the star. Telescopes all share um, very common parts, even though they may look very different from each other. I'll use this telescope here to, uh, to demonstrate. First of all, uh, telescopes use different means in order to gather and focus the light. Some telescopes use lenses, some telescopes use mirrors. This particular telescope is called a refractor, and it uses a uh, lens to, uh, to gather the light, and the lens is located right here. If you were to look inside, you could uh, see the lens. The diameter of this telescope is it's a six inch diameter uh, lens. Telescopes also have some kind of a structure to uh, hold the lens in relationship to the rest of the system. And in this case, it's a, uh, it's a long tube. And at the back end, I have a means of uh, adjusting the uh, focus of the telescope. Telescopes also have some kind of a structure to support the telescope and to allow you to point the telescope at different objects in the sky. And sometimes even to uh, automatically uh, track the objects as they uh, move across the sky. And this telescope actually does have a, uh, have a motor drive. The mount you see here is called a equatorial mount. Another kind of mount which is commonly used is called an altitude azimuth mount. That is the mount that uh, you're most familiar with. A camera tripod, for example, is an altitude azimuth mount. The uh, mount allows you to uh, move the uh, telescope up and down. It also allows you to swing the telescope around. This uh, one, uh, the, uh, the equatorial mount, is a little bit different in that one of the axes of the telescope points directly at the North Star. The reason astronomical telescopes tend to use an equatorial mount is that uh, when properly pointed, at the North Star. You can track all the stars as they uh, transit across the sky using only uh, one direction. In, in other words, just by swinging the telescope around one axis, I can track all the objects. Whereas if I tried to do that with an alt azimuth mount, I would have to move it both in the elevation as well as the azimuth direction. This telescope, for example, is mounted current the way it's configured right now on an altitude uh, azimuth mount. Telescopes uh, also, uh, in fact, uh, let me start asking the audience some questions about telescopes. Uh, what do you think is the most important aspect of a telescope? If I was to go out and buy telescopes and compare their prices, what is the most important aspect of a telescope that, uh, that would come to mind? Size of the mirror. <laughs> You're a ringer, Nick. Most people would say magnification. Whenever you see an advertisement for a telescope, you see uh, this telescope magnifies 300 times or this telescope magnifies 400 times, and people think that that's the most important thing. As uh, Nick already pointed out, magnification is not the most important aspect of the telescope. It's the diameter of the system that is collecting the light. That allows you to have brighter images, and also, uh, the larger the diameter, the more details can be seen in an image. Now, detail is different than magnification. I can take a very, very fuzzy picture and uh, magnify it to three or four hundred times, and all I get is a larger fuzzy picture. What the diameter of the telescope allows you to do is resolve finer and finer uh, details. What do you think the next most important thing about the telescope is? Well, I was, that, that's true, quality of the optics, but the answer I was looking for was the mount. I was assuming that the optics were of uh, good quality. These telescopes have to be held very, very uh, sturdy. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't be able to make use of any of the uh, images you were looking at because the telescope would be shaking over the sky. As you can see, this telescope here has a fairly large mount that it's mounted on. As a matter of fact, this telescope is considered to be undermounted. In other words, the size of this mount is really a little bit too small for a telescope of this, uh, this size. Now, how do astronomers uh, look at and record the images? Well, that's done over here. This is the, uh, the eyepiece of the telescope. Right here. And astronomers would uh, look inside, or amateur astronomers, and, and see the image 
of the, uh, of the star or the object you're looking at. Today, most astronomers do not look into telescopes. They use electronic cameras in order to uh, see the image. So instead of having an eyepiece, there would actually be a uh, camera attached to here. And the camera would send its display to a computer, and you'd look at the image on the computer, or you'd look at on a, uh, on a TV screen. Sometimes astronomers don't even look at images at all. They look at the colors of stars, and they just measure the colors. And from the colors, you can determine many things. Among them, you can determine how hot the star is. You can also determine uh, what elements uh, make up the star's uh, composition. So a lot of times what you see attached to the back doesn't look like an eyepiece at all. It's a, a piece of electronic equipment. Another thing you see on this telescope is a, another smaller telescope. The function of this is to uh, find the objects in the sky. If I look through this, which has a very, very narrow field of view, in other words, it sees a very, very narrow slice of the sky, I'd very quickly get disoriented because I can't orient myself to the rest of the sky. This telescope, on the other hand, has a very wide field of view. It sees a large portion of the sky at once. And so by looking at this wider field of view, I can relate it to what I'm seeing uh, out here and be able to find the object that I'm looking for. There are other ways of finding objects. And if you looked uh, carefully at this mount, you would notice there are rings on it which have uh, different numbers. There's a coordinate system that astronomers use in order to locate objects. And every object in the sky has a uh, two-number uh, coordinate system. The technical name for it is right ascension and declination. By um, dialing in these numbers and then uh, using the mount and just uh, reading off the numbers as I uh, move the telescope along, I can point to a point in the sky. And hopefully, if I had done that correctly and everything was lined up, when I went to the eyepiece, the object I was looking for would be perfectly uh, centered in the, uh, in the field of view. Now, the telescope was uh, actually invented in the uh, 1600s by a Dutch uh, lens maker known as Hans Lippershe, and it was first used to look at astronomical objects by Galileo. So as you can see, telescopes have been around for a very, very long period of time, over 400 years. Now, there are different uh, types of telescopes. This one happens to be an optical telescope. There are telescopes that look in the infrared portion of the uh, spectrum. In other words, they're sensitive to heat energy. There are other telescopes that look at uh, radio waves. And going in the other direction, we have telescopes, mostly in space, that look at X-rays and, uh, and gamma rays. But as I mentioned, they all have the same basic functions of gathering the light and bringing it to a focus where you can put an instrument. 